Welcome to Fan Channel. Magic mushrooms and spending your time in nature can go hand in hand when done responsibly. I recently had a shrimp trip while on a woodland hike, and this is a quick report on the things I noticed. If you enjoy trip reports and other psychedelic content, make sure to subscribe down below. I took a few days off and headed into the wilderness. I like to be truly alone, without anyone else around. No connection to the internet, in a very remote location. This allows me to be with my own conscience, and reflect on life itself. I normally go on long walks, and do a lot of hiking. During this time away, I planned for a mushroom trip and waited for the proper trail to come up on my agenda. I chose to do a lighter trip, which was two grams of dried shrooms for me. Two grams allows me to stay very focused while still feeling the childish giddiness. That is basically how this trip played out. Focused and funny. I munched down the shrooms and drove a short distance to the trailhead. Yes, I drove at the start of the trip before any of the effects took place. I got to the trail and read the signage. It was average in length and marked easy to moderate. I would manage to make it into a completely different adventure than intended. Starting down the trail, I still didn't really feel much of anything. I knew it wouldn't be too much longer until they started to kick in because it had been close to an hour since dropping the dose. I was already quite far down the trail, when the first signs of vision started changing. The saturation of color really poured on. The green from everything almost vibrated from the cloudless sky. All the leaves became so individual and reflected the light in their own way. Everything was coming to life. Getting further along, I noticed a small break in the trees. I decided to test my luck and go foraging for mushrooms. I am in the mood for some adventure, so I begin climbing my way up the side of a hill to go over to the other side. Now although I did move quite far off the trail, I was not concerned because I did have connection to 5G and was able to locate myself. Without worry, I press forward and spot a chipmunk that begins chirping out to his friends that there is a space monkey lurking in the area. I laugh out loud at his determination. I assure him I am not a predator, and to be well, as I continue to struggle my ass through this very unused area. As I continue walking through the woods, it becomes more difficult at times, but I stay focused. The path ahead of me is highlighted, and I can see my moves before I make them. As the difficulty increases, I begin to laugh as I overcome each small obstacle, realizing I am in much better shape than I thought. They are all unexpected challenges I need to get through, since I decided to leave the main trail. I saw an opening in the trees and made my way over to it, realizing it was a cliff edge with a beautiful view ahead. I stood there for a few minutes, and just took in the beauty. I'm really enjoying my time, and the trip is making time disappear. I've now been in the woods for approximately two or three hours. The climax of the trip, as small as it may have been, is now coming to an end. I am already reminiscing my adventure as I exit. Such a great time and accomplishment. It is quite simple to get lost in the deep woods, and even easier when under the influence. This requires being responsible. Had I been tripping too hard, I would have just finished the easy trail and chilled on a park bench for a few hours. You need to have the options beforehand, because you never know where the trip might take you, especially when you are outside. A small dose, even a microdose, is all you need to have a different perspective while exploring nature. 
Your eyes will see the small things that pass you by on an ordinary day. Try having an unordinary day sometime, and see what shows itself to you. Until next time, please be safe, and stay humble.